while he was part of the British colonial army, he started to develop a very bad reputation as somebody who would torture people during interrogations. People who were supposed to be arrested would suddenly end up dead. The British nonetheless kept promoting him. Good day, everyone. This is Dasetra, the most handsome, yekebo, Africanicious, adrenaline pumping, epizy, pound husband. And as usual, I'll be having my most scintillating, pepperoni, sugarlicious, hot baby girl. I'm Joke Toluani Setru, and we are always happy having you coming back every time to Setru's Blog Family. Yeah! In case you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the notification bell. I want to say thank you to all that be liking, commenting, sharing, and tweeting. Please don't stop. And a big thank you goes to all our patrons. You can actually be part of our patrons for as low as $3 per month. The link is in the description box below. The discussion today is all about asking ourselves some questions. What does it take? to become is a leader or a ruler of a country because we are beginning to see that all across the globe different kind of species of people are what are taking over the rulership because i can't call that leadership they are taking over the rulership of numerous states and come to think of it in africa specifically a country called uganda Uganda happens to be a country that has posted to the world stories of what? Tyranny. What do you think about it? As in, the citizens of Uganda have actually been through lots and lots of these. There was a time that it was the period of... Idi Amin. The man that has himself to be called by numerous names. Idi Amin tried to give himself these sophisticated titles. His Excellency, President for Life. Dr. Al Haji Idi Amin, king of all the beasts on the earth and the fishes in the sea, and liberator from the British Empire of all of Africa and Uganda in particular. And that's not just a sentence, that was his title. While we probed into that matter of his, we, we actually found out that he was really a nationalist. He did so many things, he, he wanted the Ugandans to really grow. But you, you see, finding the truth on this side of the world right now, it's really bad because you just see that some persons externally want puppets to be ruling some countries in Africa so that the destabilization of these African countries can be the source of their own wealth. And that's what is happening again because it's so painful. The case of uh, Bobby Wine being arrested and the case of their current president, Museveni, that has ruled for three and a half decades. That's 35 years. And yet, I'm not sure he's ready to leave. The question we ask ourselves is that how can a single man be ruling a whole country for over 35 years? Does it mean that there are no better brains in that country? Now, we are not even talking about just the number of years that is being spent. What we are saying is that over that number of period that you have spent, what is the development that has happened to your people? Because I'm not sure even a Diami spent up to that number of years. Spent like six years or thereabouts. And within that short period, a lot of deaths were recorded, a lot of uh, stuff were recorded against him. But you know, we might not want to delve into the situation of Idi Amin because there are two sides of a story. And until you really understand what is going from the side of the Africans and the side of our <clears throat> global list, you might not really know the factual statement of truth. But what we can say is that no matter what story is being written about Idi Amin, there is always this story that we all knew growing up. He was a terror to Ugandans. But now, what we are seeing in our present decade, in our present age, is to see that the man that goes with the basket hat has been so much against this this small boy called Bobby Wine. Uh, because he happens to be uh, the most popular opposition to his government. And most times they've taken him, they've released him. I think now, as we speak, I've been doing this video, I think he's even released. He was taken of arrested of recent. And the thing is just going front and back and all the likes. I, I heard Bobby Wine say that he, he became interested because he's a renowned uh, musician. He was going about uh, on the streets one day with his new car and the youth started 
uh, accusing him that why are you doing this don't you know that we we are suffering and this and that so he got a passion that led him into being interested in politics and he is saying he wants to make a change we don't know i'm not i'm not in his mind but i think most of the ugandas love him uh, but the thing is i just don't know why some persons we just want to be in a place and the lives of people are not better off and the lives of the common men are not better off and yet they still want to retain that position it's it's hyper selfishness it mm -mm. it's not hyper anything it is their father's property they have been created to come and rule without performing and that is why we we'll continue to say to all african rulers that are just what that they have been cursed with the spirit of sit down there and die Please, you might just need to rethink. It is high time we give space to those people in Africa should learn to resign when they are not performing. People in Africa should learn not to follow what is happening over there by the globalists because most of the time you discover that the globalists are happy when they see that we have jokers in power because jokers in power means what we call puppeto. <laughs> Puppet. Uh, uh what we will just want to say to, at this time is that we should stop this uh to all ugandans we see some persons are losing their life in the in this unrest and so many other things like that and i will also want to cut in here in case this video gets to bobby wine i will want him to let us know more let your people know more about your economic plan for them because there is a different ball game between when you are popular and people are pursuing after you, they are running after you like this, trying to make sure that you get into power. And you get into power and really doing the desire, the wish of the people, the common people now. Because if there is anything Bobby Wine should also learn, whenever you get to the seat of power, most often than not, you are surrounded with 99% capital letter jokers people that will not tell you the truth of what is going on in the economy so if you are a man of the people have it at the back of your mind that should in case the button is passed to you you must learn to what mix freely with the real people of the land to understand their plight and to ask them questions about the policy formation of yours which might be looking favorable to you or which the people around you that are staying in ac might have advised you that is favorable but the common man that is in the what in the latrine that is in the in the hot sun there might not be happy with so bobby wine we wish you good luck and ugandans we wish you good luck but we want the story the narrative to change from oppressing the poor oppressing the opponent Musa Veli should learn how to just let everybody play the card of politics very well. All this harassment, killing, you can see policemen shooting sporadically. In a way to say, why are you recording us? Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. That is totally uncalled for. Uh, uh, as in this thing, this trend is just going from one African country to another. The other day it was Ivory Coast. The other day you see uh, which other country. And different countries in Africa are just having uh, people that don't want to live. And people that prefer that the blood of the common men should be shed for them to keep on ruling. And when all the citizens are dead, please tell me, who are you going to rule? That is the exact question I wanted to ask. Because if you are true with killing all your citizens, then you want to be president over what? Over chairs, mosquitoes, chicken, chicken or loads. I don't just get it. So Africans, please, is high time we think. Then for the global uh, followers on this channel, we want to please appeal to you guys. A lot is happening in so many African countries and we are not seeing the way that we have been supporting your cry over there. You remember when George Floyd was killed, almost all the African countries, they came out and they were uh, shouting uh, something, something matters. I don't want to talk about that because I know it, it has been hijacked. Something, something matters. But do you know that a lot has been going on in Uganda, Ethiopia, 
in um, Ivory Coast, Coast, in so many African countries. Yet, we are not seeing you guys standing out and sharing stuff like this that it should not continue. Let's know that problem anywhere in the world is problem everywhere in the world. So let us rise up to assist these small, small countries of the world so that they can find their footings because the sky is big enough for us to fly if we can only experience peace all around. So that's just it. This is a call for peace, a call for love, a call to stop the aid, a call to the uh, African rulers to, to do what? To, 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 to let go and let God have its way. Yeah, that's how I want to put it. Let the right people be there. It's high time we stop putting square pegs into round holes. We, we, we should do things right. The right people should be allowed to be there. And the people that are coming there, to, they should not just go on blank check. You should have your uh, plan set out that this is what I'm going to achieve. And make sure that you cut away the middle men. The middle men go directly to the grassroots, go directly to the populace, to the poor people. And by the time you do this, we are going to have a better Africa. And as we wrap up, in case you are an African youth based in Uganda or you are an Ugandan, or is that how they call it? Please, and you want to learn a particular skill to empower you to put food on your table, kindly reach out to us on the mail below because we are ready to assist you in whatever African country you belong. All you just need to do is identify a skill that you want to learn and we'll get it paid for. So. Yes, through the African Youth Development Strategy Program. So that's it on today's show. It's been a wonderful one. Please, let's have your comments in the comment section below. Unless I forgot, yeah, I don't want you guys to just, looking at this, my beard, I'm keeping it for a movie, a short movie. We are working on a particular movie that is going to be meh. Please, let us know if you like us to upload the movie here, short, just a short, funny skit, or you want us to create a separate channel for that. Okay, thank you. Let's have your comments in the comment section below. We keep on telling you that the greatest therapy is the joy therapy. Whatever is going on all over the world, make sure you don't lose your joy because that's the strut of your strength. So, always remember to hug your spouse 16 times per day. It is what we call, it cures what we call oppression by Musculumba against Bobby Vine. And don't forget to follow us on our website, ztrow.tv. ztrow.tv. Catch you. Love you. Bye bye. You may like to watch this video or this.